This is Second Story Garage. We're here with a boy and his kite. Thanks for coming in, you know? Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. So, um, a boy and his kite, the, your material stems from uh, your songwriting, Dave, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And, um, you know, the first I was aware of you was when one of your songs, Cover Your Tracks, was selected for the soundtrack of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2? Two? Part 2. That's yeah. right. So how did that all come about? How did you get that gig? Yeah, it's pretty miraculous. Um, my dear friend Latifa co-produced my album and helped me kind of formulate my music and my recordings. And uh, she got basically an invitation from her music licensing person to submit a song. And so um, she submitted some of her songs and and then she just was like, can I send them one of your songs? And she did. And uh, our placement agent, Mike, is uh, just a sweetheart. And he submitted it. And like the next day, uh, we got a call back. And they asked for everything I'd ever done. <laughs> wow. So I sent them an unfinished album and uh, just waited for months and months. And so, uh, so yeah, finally, like, they, they called and put the song under contract and I finished it. I, I mixed it and finished recording it and um, and it was, they told me the day before the soundtrack <laughs> was announced that it was picked. So they, they keep everyone in, in the dark. So, But it was really In the amazing. twilight. Yeah, yeah, in, in the, the twilight. twilight. And we couldn't dark. put it on your record too. Yeah, that was the yeah, other thing. Totally. So, yeah. And it was, I was going to actually call my album Cover Your Tracks. So I kind of was like, all right, you can have it. Uh -huh. um, but anyways, it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, um, and Cover the Tracks is one of the songs that you do for us today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's a really emotionally powerful song. Mm, thanks. And, uh, it's, and it's, you're talking about covering emotional tracks. Yeah, right? it's the first song I ever wrote that, like, speaks to every part of who I am. I mean, like, my heart, my mind, and my soul. And I just, like, encouraging myself almost to, to take each one of those to its, to its farthest, to completely exhaust everything that I have in order to like find something better. Now did that align with the whole idea of totally, using it in the movie? They yeah. well I mean I had I had never seen one of the movies when they when they asked for the song. So once I went back and watched some of the movies, it totally did align with kind of the main character Bella who like was just bummed being a human <laughs> and wanted to, I know I'm disappointed I mean she had like done everything she could to experience the most in life and for her it was like being adopted into this vampire family so <laughs> what, I mean I didn't know just for some people it's vampires I, so but <laughs> it was <laughs> neat that like I mean it uh, it worked out and those Twilight fans are like some of the most amazing people in mm. the world and I had like yeah. awesome conversations and, so I'm so blessed that, that was some exposure for you oh yeah That's from being bit. nobody to yeah. yeah. So, um, and the other thing you do is you run a recording studio I do. in Lafayette. Mm -hmm. um, what's what's that called? It's called St. Ida's, and it's oh. in an old historic church uh, built by coal miners in mm -hmm. like 1904 or something. And it's just a really rad, beautiful space to create music. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Now you don't you don't uh, perform out a whole lot. I don't. But if uh, folks want to hear your music, you do have an album out here, mm -hmm. self-titled album, "Boy and His Kite." One of the things y'all brought us. Appreciate that. Another thing you brought us. We invite all our artists to bring something to help decorate the studio here. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you all brought us a Van Morrison uh, vinyl, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what was the thinking behind this? Were you like, so, they were asking for something, what do we got? <laughs> so, so there, here's the quick story, is I saw it, and like, I'm a Van Morrison fan, for sure, but I saw the, the record, and I was like, oh, I have to have this. And so, because I work with other artists in a studio, I, I put it on the wall, and like, if someone gave me a pretty bummer take, or they just went into it, I was like, hey man, can you sing this one, like, Van number seven and like so I'd have like I would point like to like an emotion right yeah and uh, <laughs> and then like no one actually got soul. it it was supposed to be a joke and so finally I just <laughs> took it home and listened to it a few times and now you have it <laughs> no one got we're it we're gonna have to use that I am like no that wasn't the take how about that dude, see, this, see this one right there I like that like, one yeah, yeah, numbers yeah. in each corner yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> I like the I like the bottom left one too that's pretty oh solid. yeah, yeah like, and then the Hail Mary is oh he just get me back to the bar yeah let's do that like that.
That's very ponderous. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming and really enjoyed your music. Thank right. you. I'm blowing this kite. This is Second Story Garage.